Hi, I'm Dulcie Hill. And today I want to talk uh, a little bit about an experience I just had. Uh, a gentleman emailed me. Um, he is uh, pushing 50 and he was just diagnosed with uh, MS. And uh, uh, he just didn't know how to get his mind around it. And I kind of got my mind around it by thinking uh, none of us want MS. So if we can separate our mind into thinking that when we're born our parents give us a body. So think about it as when we're born our parents give us a car. We don't have any choice on the model make uh, the propensity for it to break down or whatnot. So at some point, uh, we take this car into a mechanic and we're given a diagnosis that now this car may have the propensity to rust out, have uh, leaky oil problems, have electrical problems, have different types of problems that need specialists. Uh, they may need special tires on it. Uh, when you get your mind into thinking that uh, your body is your car, right? It's not you. You have been given a spirit that is in charge of this car. But if you can think of your body as a car, then all of a sudden when it starts leaking, like bladder problems there, you can put an oil pan or put a, put a put something on the driveway so it doesn't leak there. When a tire falls off or the alignment balance goes out, you can provide that, that vehicle with something to help the mechanics on it. When electrical problems start going out, off uh, on it and it can't see, it, it can't comprehend there, you can be kinder to it because you've separated your spirit from this 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 mechanical thing so it's a mechanical thing you're not a part of it the wiring if you can get your mind down into thinking that the wiring problems is your mind right and you can't let your mind tell tell your mind might be faulty and it may tell your car that it, it something's going wrong that's not so your mind say you're exhausted your mind may tell your body oh don't move just don't move right but if you're exhausted we know sometimes we wake up in the morning and we feel tired but if we can overcome that with say medication take some uh, provigil or or caffeine or something then we can tell that that car you know i gotta start the engine and get that going around the block you have to go for a little walk. So sometimes you gotta have that relationship, that detachment of of if you can somehow think of you're blessed in that God trusted you with the ability to care for a faulty car, right? Your parents gave you a faulty car. Now you have the spirit and the ability to handle this car. Don't curse the car for having a tire that falls off or, or having a leaky engine or, or, you know, the headlights go out so now you've got optic neuritis. You can't curse the car because the car didn't want that to happen. We have to figure out, we have to mind over matter. We have to figure out, no, how about spirit over matter? figure out how to best take care of this car so that we can get much use. The car can get us to where we need to go in order to make the most out of life. We want to go to the beach. We don't want it just to sit there and leak in the driveway. Anyway, God bless you. Please subscribe. Keep coming back. I know I haven't done a video in a while. So uh, anyway, I pray for you. Uh, go to msfrontiers.org. Uh, you'll see all the resources we have for you, and thank you. Bye.